All right, it's been a long, long time since you've seen the 58, and there's a very good reason for that. I've been preoccupied with work, family life, and the 87. The 87 is being painted as we speak, and I hope to show it to you in the coming days. And the other reason is the welder has been super busy with his own life, his own family, his own job, and uh, only has so much time to work on this old girl. So there was nothing really to report. And he told me that he's been working on the front part of the frame. Um, he only found some very small areas that he wanted to reinforce because we want to make sure that this car is 100% in every way. And there's very little that I can see um, where he where he's been working on this. I can see the rear frame and he had a small patch at the front, he said. He said he uh, had it cut out and just had to uh, tack it and weld it. I'm thinking it might be over there. See where it's kind of shiny where he grinded some down? He might be uh, only right there. There's a little hole there. I think he found a, a, a thin spot and he's going to um, box all this in. So here we are. And to recap, what has been done on the frame already, the really only bad really bad spot was the back frame here both the frame rails were pretty soft so these are all brand new both sides you can see over there once the frame is done which is very close um he told me to bring in the new quarter panels which i already have purchased like three years ago and then he's going to put have them in the right spot to get the new rockers uh, in the right spot too because you want to have the, the doors flush and the quarters and the front fender flush with the rockers so you kind of need everything together before you weld it fast as the expression is so this car I suspect will still be in the welding shop this time next year just because he's not doing it Monday to Friday, you know, it's a whenever he has time kind of job, which is fine for me too, because I still have my own other projects, but this is a very big project and uh, like any good foundation, it has to be strong. So the frame is very important and it's, I would say it's 98% done. And then the body work, the new panels, the new quarters, rockers, inner outer rockers and I already have the engine torn down and I hope to get it reinstalled once I get the car back to my own shop and uh, after that when the welding is eventually done brakes exhaust mechanical work and uh, when she's running and driving and stopping and all that stuff. I will start on the um, painting the dashboard. And uh, of course, by that time, the floors will all be done. And once it's running and driving, take it to the body shop, have a, a complete color change done. We're thinking of painting a Cadillac white, one of the uh, Cadillac colors from 58. I initially wanted to do it, um, the 56 paint color Chantilly, but my wife decided with a black dashboard, I should keep it black and white. So she wants me to paint it white. I kind of like though the white top and the colored body or black body, but she, we could change our plan between now and the time the car at the paint shop. And then the very last thing will be the interior which would be an exact copy of what was in the car. Um, power, front bench, and uh, lighted vanity 
lights all over the interior and uh, courtesy lights and all that good stuff. And of course, before the car is done, the before the car is at the body shop, I should say, the chrome will be re-chromed and then this very meticulous process of putting all the trim back on. And I think I have most of it. The car was kind of stripped when I got it. So I still have to make a complete inventory, but I know I have these pieces. And uh, this window's got to come out so the welder can weld the new quarters on. And the rechroming will be quite a while away, but I might one of these days just get all the chrome assembled and get some pricing on getting it so it's ready to go when the car is finally done. But I basically have been assembling parts since I bought the car. And I have a lot of parts. I have NOS tail lamps, which are very hard to find and very expensive. And uh, it's just a lot of work. And I got a brand new gas tank, brand new sending unit. And there's, there's a box there that have the new rockers in it. And uh, I got all my uh, street metal parts from a place called Cadillacville. It used to be called Faded Fins up here in Canada, but his main yard now is in the States and his phone number is American number, but he's based in Ontario, Canada, but uh, he services the world. Really a good guy to deal with. And I appreciate his help with, with the, all my restorations. I got my fillers from 87 from him as well. But either way, um, status update, recap, still being welded. So I can't do a lot of wrenching on this when it's not in my own shop. So it'll be here till whatever it's done welding. And then the 87 is being painted, as I said, it will be done next week, I think. And then I can work on um, detailing that car and getting ready for sale. So thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and uh, tell your friends. And I'll see you all down the road.